Hey guys, this is Cesar Milan, The Dog Whisperer. It Gets Better Project is so near and dear to my heart because it does get better. I'm gonna share with you a little bit of my childhood, what I went through, you know, and for me to come to what I am. So I have to go through the reality of being poor. I, we are from a poor background, so I was super poor. Sometimes we, sometimes we don't, right? I was short, as you see, I was still short. I was a farm boy and I was a dog boy. And the dog boy was actually El Perrero, which in Mexico, El Perrero, it, it, it wasn't something positive. It wasn't something that you should um, celebrate. It was a kid that smells like dog, that has fleas or ticks. That's their perception. So I went through that in my childhood, right? Because dogs were following me. I didn't know why, but dogs followed me. But they, so people would go after me just because dogs would follow me, you know, was that saying mean things to me. Then in my adolescent stage, dogs still follow me. I was still being called El Perrero. I was super short, I'm still short. I was not hip at all, and I was not popular at all. Then I, I came to America, and in America, I was called an immigrant, which I was, right? I was homeless, I didn't have a place to live, so I lived in the street for two months, and then I speak no English, but it got better. It got better because I stay focused on what I really wanted uh, uh, for me to happen. I wanted to be the best dog trainer in the world. I was 13 years old when I told my mom, mom, you think I can be the best dog trainer in the world? And she believed in me and she says, yes, you can be whatever you want. And that's really what we need to attach ourselves. Not what somebody else might see on us, you know, all the negativity that they want to ask for that they want us to pay attention to. Yes, I was poor, but not from the heart, not from the mind, right? So, um, so what I did is I got, so what I did is I got hold of the people that believed in me. And that's, that was very important for, for, for and that was very important to me. Uh, I don't like to use the word success, but I just like to use the word, I accomplished something because I believed in me, because God believed in me. Everybody has a gift. I don't think I'm the only human in the world that has a gift. Everybody has their own special gift. So I just want to let you know, you know, that sometimes when somebody sees something uh, different in you, it's actually a gift. It's a gift that they don't have. Whatever that gift might be, you know, uh, they don't have it. And they don't know how to deal with it. You know, they don't know. Uh, sometimes if you're happy, they, they will go after you because you're happy. So in the meantime, if there's no humans around that want to support your uniqueness, your, uh, your gift, you can always count on somebody that I personally count on, and that is dogs. Because one thing about dogs don't do is they don't judge. They just accept you as who you are and the gifts you have, right? But you need to accept yourself first. Because that automatically creates a space of freedom. Freedom. A simple word, but has so much meaning. But again, it gets better. It gets absolutely better. It, I went through it. Uh, I, 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 was so, I, was so, I was so looking forward to be part of this project. Because I am part of those kids who were bullied in the past. Because I was called El Perrero. I was the dirty... Uh, kid with dogs and, and, and everything was wrong about me because dogs were following me, right? And so as you see it got better